This video is going to walk you through how to save and upload images to Canvas so that you can use them in a digital Canvas quiz. So wherever you have your images, um, whether in, they're in a Google Doc, a Word document, or maybe just the internet, there's a couple different ways you might have to save an image. So if this is the image I want to use in my Canvas quiz, I'm going to right click on it. And in order to save it to my computer, you actually have to save it to keep first. It's going to go to Google Keep. So I'm going to click this and it automatically opens my Google Keep and it will save right here. So now I can right click on it here, save image as, and it will go straight to my Chrome file. So I can change this to graph one. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do that is to um, take a screenshot of it and every Chromebook laptop is a little bit different. I have to hit control function shift and F5. Then I can take a screenshot of this and it automatically saves to my files on my Chromebook. So two different ways to do it, essentially the same idea. So once I have all of the um, images saved that I need, so I could do that for all of these at once, download them to my computer, so on and so forth. So once I have all of them saved, now I'm going to go to Canvas and work on my digital quiz. So now once I'm in my quiz, I can go ahead and edit my questions. This is one way to upload your images in here. You can do them one at a time by editing a question that you have. So once I'm in my question, I want the students to look at that graph. So I'm going to go to Canvas, my course files, and I'm going to upload that screenshot that I just took. So I'm going to open that. I can only do one at a time if this is the way that I'm inserting my image. So now it's uploaded. I'm going to find it. Here it is. Now I can insert it into my question. Okay. So that's one way to do it if you want to do it one at a time. If you have a bunch of images that you've saved from a Google Doc or from the internet, what you could also do is go to files in your course. And I would suggest creating a folder. So I've created a folder here. Um, so that way I can put all the images for the quiz that I'm making in one spot so I can easily find them. So when I go to this folder I've created, I can click upload. And now I can mass hit control and insert a ton of images that I want to eventually use for that quiz. Um, and I can mass upload them into that folder to use for later. So that's if you want to kind of do it all at once and then pick and choose as you're creating your quiz. So if I go back to my quiz now, I'm going to edit the questions. Now when I go to insert a picture, I can find that images quiz folder that I created in files and I can pick and choose what images I want to insert um, in my quiz.